Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming. We're going to continue our Alpha ABS tutorial series. And in this episode, we're going to take a quick look on how to get our project running. You may have noticed if you follow the last tutorial that you are presented with a screen that uh, goes black after a basic intro. And if you've managed to fig uh, figure that out, you're also noticing that, uh, you may have also noticed that uh, your game still doesn't run. So let's take a look at uh, the common errors you're going to have at the beginning. So when you first start following my last tutorial, you're going to be presented with this uh, same introduction that's inside of the, um, the demo project, which we don't want because this is not a demo project. This is our game that we're going to turn into a, a bat have the action battle system. So what we need to do is remove or uh, disable uh, the temp scripts. So this is just a plugin that's designed to set up the demo. You don't need this one at all, so delete it uh, from your project or turn it off. The same thing with the dev. If you've turned it on, turn it back off and remove it. You don't need those two. Uh, while you're messing with your plugins, uh, I would recommend that you add a couple more plugins. Add the YEP underscore core engine. I'll put a link in the description below to the plugins you need to add. Uh, this is not absolutely required, but it's highly recommended for this tutorial series that I'm going to be uh, showing you how to do things. Also, I would recommend you add YEP underscore region restrictions, just because it's going to make certain things easier to handle later on when I go over things. Also, if you're still using the message core that came with the demo project, update it to the most recent version of the message core. Um, once again, not absolutely necessary, but highly recommended to do those three things. However, you will have to turn off temp scripts and the dev plugin. So once we've got that, let's go ahead and run our project and see what happens. Oh, we could encounter an error. You have to config your, uh, config your project uh, for ABS first. So why is it crashing like this? Well, this, this action battle system is, uh, it requires a few note tags. The, the bare minimum is that you specify your basic attack to have ABS, uh, an ABS note tag and your reload uh, param speed for that. So basically, this is saying your, your basic attack that automatically happens when you're tab target to an enemy will uh, have a speed of whatever the attack speed of the weapon you're using. So we're adding these two note tags. I'll put, uh, I'll highlight this in the, uh, a, a text box or something. But also you can find all of these note tags in the PDF file that's included with the demo project for the ABS battle system. <clears throat> so once you've uh, got that uh, PDF file open, give it a look, check out some things, uh, just go over it, skim through it. Um, it's a whole lot of information to absorb at one time, so we're going to take it piece by piece, step by step, and do one little thing at a time. So in this project, I can show you now that once we've added the note tags to the game project, it'll start running. It, recognize it, it recognizes the game as using the ABS system just by adding those simple note tags right there. Of course, we have no enemies, we have no weapons or anything, so quick uh, part for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a weapon. So we're gonna go over to our weapons and we're gonna change our maximum to whatever you want it to be. I'm actually just going to delete all of this stuff here. We'll just clear the default stuff. We're gonna add our own real quick. Um, I'm also going to change the icon set, um, but there's plenty of tutorials on how to do that. So we're going to change our icon set, but we're going to call this starter blade or whatever you want to call it. We're going to give it whatever parameter changes we want. We'll say 20 attack. Now it's important to note that the note tags we're using for our basic attack and our skills is requiring attack speed for our reload speed. So our reload speed is the time it takes from, for the bar to go from zero to full. And so it's looking for attack speed. So on all your weapons, besides the default stuff you would normally put, you'll have to include one more thing. So go into the traits and go to attack, and you're going to go to attack speed. Now it works a lot differently than you would typically think of attack speed, because normally you would think a higher attack speed the faster the weapon, but in this ABS system, the alpha ABS system, attack speed is the number of frames between a full charge and restarting it. So if you're using 60 frames a second and you want your weapon to, to swing every three seconds, then we would go 
um, 60 times 3. So we would put 180. So now that you understand that equation, you can see that the higher the attack speed, the slower the weapon. So we've got a weapon, which is our starting blade, and it has 20 attack, and it's got an attack speed of 3 seconds, which is 180 divided by 3 which would give us 60, and 60 is our frames per second. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, we'll go to our actors here, and we're going to award. Um, well, first we'd have to assign a class and say that he can use a sword. So we're going to say that our actor is um, this first class, and we're going to say that he can use a sword. So on our weapons, we're going to specify this as a sword, and then we're going to start our actor with the starting blade. We're also going to remove all this other stuff and build on things one at a time. So we're gonna start with nothing, that's why I didn't overload you with a ton of plugins, just um, adding one here, one there as they need to be added. Um, and now we've got our weapon um, that has a, a three second attack. Our game runs um, and uh, you can get started on working on your project. And we've got our weapon here. Um, in the next episode, I'm going to teach you how to design an enemy so that we can um, actually set up a battle. But that's going to do it for this quick tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to see more tutorials about the Alpha ABS uh, battle system from Phoenix Kage Disu, Kage Disu, please give this video a thumbs up. It'll let me know you want to see more like it. If you would like to, subscribe to the channel. I'm not going to be opposed to that. So there's a button for that underneath the video in the top and the bottom right. It says subscribe. But anyway, you don't have to if you don't want to. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out driftwoodgaming.com if you want more resources and would like to get involved with the community. There's a forum there for you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Once again, we'll see you in the next tutorial.